Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen, and you've stumbled into a fun place to hang out and do nails. In today's video, you'll see me make some nails inspired by my favorite anime, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So you'll see here that I had some stickers, um, mostly from AliExpress, and up in the corner, I also made some of my own charms using shrink plastic. I don't show the process for that, I just use the charms. Quick disclaimer for today's video, I lost a lot of the footage, so you'll see me starting like with only three fingers left, <laughs> basically. But here's the first hand that I did. I really wanted it to be colorful and chaotic, just like the show, and I feel like they turned out pretty good. I'm proud of how they look. Even with the missing footage, I think you'll still be able to get a good idea of how I made these. I didn't plan out this set. It was freestyle. I literally did one nail at a time, usually with a character theme in mind. On my nails for this video are these short little ones that are made from glitter acrylic and using these Care Bear stickers that I got from Hot Tips Nailbox. Aren't they cute? I love them. Here I'm going to add some charms to the nail inspired by Jolene. I decided to add a star and a butterfly and I had made these out of shrink plastic like I mentioned earlier and it wasn't just like easy like oh, I'm gonna draw these I'm gonna shrink them like it was kind of a whole process <laughs> to make those charms I'll have to do a separate video on it here I'm taking out some mixing gel that I got from Aliexpress it's supposed to also be a blooming gel and that's what I'm using it for here as a blooming gel For most of the nails, I did a painting color blocking technique, but for the middle nails, I did this blooming thing because I wanted them to look specifically like um, something from the show, which I'll insert here now. And yeah, so that's what I was going for. Regarding the colors that I'm using, for each hand, I pre-mixed a custom palette inspired by the show. And I added base gel to each of the colors to give them a more jelly, transparent effect. I'm so glad I add some pink here at the end. I feel like the pink really brought everything together. And it wasn't blooming as much as I wanted it to, so I took a cuticle stick and just kind of dragged through it until I liked the way it looked. Here I'm trying to take off some excess product from the sides in an effort to prevent this nail from getting too bulky. I decided to add one more charm to this Jolene nail. Now that our marble nail has been taken out of the lamp and wiped down with some alcohol, I'm going to add these no, no, no stickers. <laughs> Thank you. 
I stuck them down really well, but I was still worried that the corners might start lifting up, so I quickly threw on a little bit of base coat and cured it just to make sure that they would stay down. And the snail is looking good, we can set it aside. Here I'm gathering some more nose <laughs> to add to the snail. I got these small metal yes and nose from a Canadian Etsy shop. I'm going to stick these little charms down by first applying a relatively thin layer of base coat and then placing them on and curing. Here's how it's looking out of the lamp. And because of the way these charms are, they don't sit flat against the nail. I brought out some IBD Builder Gel and I'm encapsulating the snail now. After curing, the IBD gel definitely has a sticky layer, so you have to wipe that down. Okay, now we're moving on to the Giorno inspired nail. You'll finally get to see me do this color blocking thing that I've been talking about. You see how the color is kind of sheer, and I literally just make random shapes. I tried not to think about it too hard and just, you know, let the creativity flow. While that's curing, I'm going to start the Josuke nail, which happens to be the thumb. And I'm going to be going back and forth between these two nails quite a bit in between curing. So just a heads up. In case it's not obvious, every nail I do, I select the colors based on the character. So each nail is themed. They're not all the same. I use different color combinations for each one. Here I realized that I didn't do a second coat on the yellow part. And I'm doing something kind of risky and I'm just like painting it in before I cured the purple. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but it actually, it was fine. I didn't mess it up.
this is definitely a design where you have to just trust the process. Like I never really enjoyed the way these nails looked <laughs> when I was doing this part. Like I would never wear them like this, I don't think. But it really did all come together at the end. So just, you know, bear with me through this part. When I was doing this background part, I always knew that I was done whenever the nail looked like a weird fabric from the 80s, <laughs> like no joke. Hold your breath with me for this one. Yay! Okay, so next I'm preparing to place some stickers. So I would kind of decide which sticker I was going to use and then eyeball roughly the outline of how big it would be and kind of color block that section of the nail with white. The intention, of course, to make the stickers like as true to their own color as possible. I didn't actually want this colorful background to affect the stickers I was using. And yeah, I did do two coats of the white as well. Not sure if it was totally necessary for me to do that, but I did. I decided to add some striping lines to the thumb and I feel like this thumb out of all the nails looks the most like not just an 80s fabric but like a bad 80s fabric. <laughs> the liner brush I'm using is honestly a piece of crap. <laughs> like I got it from Shein and no matter what brushes I get from there, whether they're makeup or nail art brushes, they're always trash. So I really need to get some better nail art brushes because I think I'm capable of quite a lot, but these things are holding me back a little bit. Okay, it's finally time to start placing some of the stickers. So uh, Giorno is going down here and as you can see, like I didn't get the white uh, color blocking totally perfect. There's white sticking out of the sides and stuff, but I didn't really care to be honest and you'll see me go in in a moment and actually like cover up the white a little bit with you know the matching colors and I am doing a quick base coat here as well because again I get scared that the stickers are going to start lifting so I rush and try to like cure them down really quickly and yeah here I'm touching up the sides of the white and I didn't find them very noticeable at all. Never 
a lot of hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't want to be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh. This Josuke nail is finally going to start looking good <laughs> Once I start putting stickers on it, it really comes together the highway, And in the driveway is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go I ended up putting this shrink plastic charm onto the Giorno nail and it looks really good. It looks better than the other charms because this one I actually painted not just the back white but also the sides and it really pops like way more than the other ones. So if I do this again, that's, you know, a takeaway. And I decided that this thumb needed a few more stickers and I remembered that at the beginning of this season this character was like obsessed with making money and stuff. So that's why I put like the dollar sign and the money and the diamonds there because the season is called Diamond is Unbreakable. And you know, it all it all goes together. Go, 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 go. So here's where we are at so far. None of these have a top coat on them yet. And yeah, I'm really liking how they're looking. Before I put the top coat, you'll see that the no, no, no nail is matte, and that's because I filed it. We encapsulated it, so it needed to be filed down to make sure that it wasn't lumpy or bumpy. Go, go. On to the most satisfying part, which is adding the top coat to all the nails. I don't have a ton to say through this process, so I'm just going to be quiet and let you watch me do the top coat. Go, go. But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why I say Fake it till you make it A And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh. Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start the pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Grab it
And here's how they're looking with the top coat all done. I still have a couple of things I want to do with them before they're completed, but we're almost there. Here is the almost finished product. So as you can see, I added some nail piercings and I'm going to apply them using these McCart Jelly Poly Gels. A little earlier, I partially filled the backs of these nails with the Jelly Poly Gel and I didn't quite get the effect I was going for, but it's okay and it gives the nails some structure. I'm using this peel off base coat that I got from Amazon. For the application, I'm only going to show how I did it on one nail. So I put some poly gel in the base of the nail, patted it out, and then placed it on my nail. Once I had it where I wanted it, I clipped it in place and then cleaned off around the edges with some alcohol. And then once I was finished with that, I put it in the lamp. And here's how they turned out. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and let me know what you think of these nails down below. I know that they're intense. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.